Northeast Force presents North Carolina versus the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. The semifinal national group. Well, they're still buzzing, 16,000 fans. We have just had what will be one of the most discussed baskets in the history of the NCAA basketball tournament. We're going back and take a look. This is Butch Lee, three seconds to go. Here's his pass down court. Now, time does not start until the ball touches a player in court. Time now starts as Maxwell has touched the ball of the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Jerome Whitehead has it. Up he goes. There is the release. And the official score and timer said the ball left his hand. We'll take a look at the unofficial time. Here's the ball coming down court. There, time will start now. And Maxwell touching the ball. Deflects to Jerome Whitehead. Whitehead now up one second. And the ball is released at that stage. And it looks like he beat the clock with a game-winning basket that places Marquette into the finals 51 to 49 in one of the semifinal games today. All right, let's go down to courtside now. Dick Enberg, Billy Packer, as they set the scene down there. And I know they're uh, still tingling with that finish we've just had. Dick and Billy, please. Well, that was one of the great games of uh, championship history, Billy. And uh, already they're starting to write, is it destiny? Remember in Michigan, late in the year, Al McGuire didn't think he was even going to get in the tournament. Now he's in the final game. Well, I can remember him coming out at halftime and pointing up to us in that Michigan game and saying, we made it. It's the Midwest, you know. And I'll be honest with you, I agree with you, Dick. I don't think he thought they were going to get the bid prior to that moment. And how about Bush Lee, fans? Lee, who had not scored well, had only seven points when Marquette needed two must buckets. He just fired and got him cleanly. Well, he's a guy that's been around a long time. And how about Bo Ellis staying in the game with four fouls on him almost all the second half, being kind of an instrumental type ball player out there. And the UNCC heartbreak losers, but what a fine team Lee Rose brought to this tournament. We'll highlight the players in our second game, North Carolina against Nevada, Las Vegas. But first, we go to grandstand. In the Marquette in the first game scored 51 points. University of Nevada, Las Vegas gets that in a half. They averaged 108 points a game this year, the highest scoring team in the country. It's a team of nicknames, and the running rib is a great nickname for this team. They play hard, 40 minutes all over the court. That's their philosophy. North Carolina is rich in basketball tradition. This is the sixth time they've been in the Final Four. It's a courageous, gutty team that is missing their center, Lagarde, with a knee operation. Phil Ford playing with a hyperextended elbow. And Walter Davis with a broken finger. Well, let's talk about the players now. Spotlight them. The court side to Dick Enberg and Billy Packer. All right, Kurt, and one of the things, Billy, here is can Dean Smith pull off the big prize this summer in Montreal? He leads some of these same players to the gold medal victory in the U.S. Olympics and now trying to win his first NCAA championship against a man now, Al McGuire, who uh, maybe has Cinderella on his side. Well, that's very possible, but Dean Smith's has been a team of destiny also, and Kurt mentioned some of those injuries to some real key people. Dick. Let's look at the University of North Carolina Olympians. First, they have the playmaking guard, Phil Ford. I thought he was the best guard I saw all season. He did not even shoot in practice yesterday, but he's okay now, as you can see. Hyperextended elbow in the Notre Dame game. Ford will start today. He was a great playmaker on the Olympic team. With Ford, Walter Davis. Davis is also injured. You can see the bandages on his fingers of the right hand. Fractured finger late in the season in the ACC tournament. Still playing. He's been instrumental in getting the Tar Heels here. Unfortunately, one of the North Carolina players and another Olympian won't play today. Tommy Lagarde, knee surgery, out for most of the last half of the year. With him, I believe North Carolina would be the prohibitive favorite in this tournament. That's very possible, but when he went down sideline with injuries, a lot of these young freshmen got into play, and particularly Rich Yoniker, with playing time, has turned out to be an outstanding player. Uh, how about the running rebels of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas? I grew up in that run-and-shoot basketball of the 50s. You've got to love their style. Well, I kid it talked just a few minutes ago about the 49 points at the end of the game, saying, you know, that you wouldn't be pleased with that at halftime. They're going to try to get that ball out, move it up and down the court as they always do. And I think the key to this entire ball game and maybe the entire tournament is can you stop Vegas from doing their thing, which is to get that ball and put it up. A lot of teams have tried to slow it down against the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, unsuccessfully. The key to the coach uh, Jerry Zartanian dribbles is they're such great conditioned athletes that even if you do stay close, they get that 12-point spurt the way UCLA's teams do. 
They certainly do, and of course, they're just so exciting to watch. It'll be an entirely different type of ball game from the first one. Now we're ready for the introduction of the starting lineups, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, against the University of North Carolina. The winner will play Marquette Monday night. The introduction from Marshall Mann. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon's second game is between the Tar Heels of the University of North Carolina, champion of the East Regional, and the Rebels of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, champion of the West Regional. Let's introduce the coaches for today's game. For the Tar Heels, Dean Smith. And for the Rebels, Jerry Tarkanian. Now introducing the starting lineup for today's game. The Tar Heels of North Carolina. Number 24 at forward, six foot six senior from Pineville, North Carolina, Walter Davis. Number 31 at forward, six foot seven freshman from Jersey City, New Jersey, Mike O'Corey. Number 50 at center, six foot nine freshman from Euclid, Ohio, Rich Yonakor. Number 15 at guard, a 6'3 senior from Richmond, Virginia, John Huster. Number 12 at guard, a 6'2 junior from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, Bill Ford. The Rebels of the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Number 11 at forward, a 6'7 senior from Houston, Texas, Eddie Owens. Number 25 at forward, 6'6", senior from Boulder, Colorado, Glenn Gondrevic. Number 42, the center, 6'9", junior from Gary, Indiana, Larry Moffitt. Number 40, the guard, 6'4", senior from Las Vegas, Sam Smith. Number 10 at guard, 5'11", senior from Los Angeles, California, Robert Smith. We'll be back for the opening tip-off in just a minute. Reggie Copeland of the Southeast Conference will be the umpire. Las Vegas in white, North Carolina in the blue or dark jerseys. Rich Yonaker, a freshman, will be jumping center against Larry Mighty Mo Moffitt. It's got nicknames for all these running ribs. And here we go. The winner will play Marquette for the national title, and the tip is over to Las Vegas. Moffitt got it back again after the set. There's the playmaker, Robert Smith. Great man-to-man -man defense by North Carolina. Good overplay. Gondrasak gets it over to Sudden Sam. Smith, he pops it, and the score is 2 nothing. He can hit. Bill Ford nearly has the ball taken away by Robert Smith, a tenacious little defender. This will be quite a matchup, Ford and Robert Smith today. Bill Ford with the ball. The question is how well can he shoot today with a bad elbow. Total team movement by North Carolina. They like to occupy the ball, get all five guys moving without the ball. Vegas likes to play that tough man-to-man -man defense. There's Yonaker against Moffitt. Yonaker throws it up. Eddie Owens clears the board. University of Nevada's ball as it come down. Great gun. Smith oh, oh. again. One pass and a shot. That's their game. Four to nothing, Las Vegas, and they can really shoot. And they don't shoot layups. They hit them 15, 20, 25 feet out on the run. Houston with the ball. I think the big thing, big thing Kurt playing this ball club is not to get caught up with that wild ramble scramble game. It's hard to play their game. That's LaCorne. Mike LaCorne driving the lane. And a foul call on the drive down the lane. Jerry Tarkenian, a very nervous coach in the bench. Two towels. Goes after everything. He's got that coat off, and the game is, uh, what, about a minute and a half old here. Strictly man-to-man. -man. Look for North Carolina. Set some solid screens inside on the line. Robert Davis took it in from Ford. Four to two. That foul was on John Gazak, our first foul of the game. Now the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, the running left down. John Gazak's outside. He's a big power forward. Up he goes. A shot is blocked by 
Del Torrent out of bounds off Yonaker's hand. This team, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, has averaged 108 points a game. Their opponents have averaged 88. The spread of 20 is an all-time NCAA record for the biggest point spread during the season. North Carolina in a half-court 1-3-1 one, one zone press. Walter Davis foul oh, call on Davis. So each team has one foul. Curtis, it's so important, as we saw in that first game, to stay out of that one-and-one one foul trouble in the half, uh, especially if you get into that foul trouble so early. Two very aggressive teams. He slipped away, Robert Smith, and he hits the layup. Six to two. Nevada out in front. They keep that all-court press on 40 minutes. And they call this team the hard way eight. They use eight players, and they really do it the hard way. Ford is fouled by Robert Smith on his dribble drive. Real good out-of-bounds situation. Going to be put in bounds by Gondo now. You're going to see the good screen on the weak side over there for Robert Smith. And actually, the guy probably, uh, Michael Korn is the guy that probably should have been in position to cut off that play. Good play by Vegas. Two team fouls on Nevada, one on North Carolina. That's stolen by Gondrzak. Here's a two against two. Gondrzak up. The shot is so good. Off the board for the ball is Michael Korn. Bill Ford trying to penetrate. Wild pass to Davis. Back comes Gondrzak. John Bazak stepped on the line, coming down the sideline. And Billy, as you know, today we'll be picking a player to receive the new Gillette Track 2 Most Valuable Player of the Game Scholarship Award. And it'll be a long time before we can pick one. <laughs> Bill <laughs> Ford will inbound it. A long time before we can get our breath in this game, Gary. This is a different sport than we played oh, in the first one. I've got to tell you a great fact uh, somebody made to me when I walked up from court side here. Schuster. We did the job against Kentucky in the second half last Saturday. And Ford was injured and out, playing with four fouls. That's O'Corn driving and hitting it to make it six to four. Michael Korn, one of the top freshmen in the country. Back comes Easy Eddie Owens. And goaltending will be called there on Walter Davis. You can see that Vegas loves to go down the sidelines, particularly the right sidelines, to generate their offense. Now, Eddie Owens caught this ball with nobody on it. You can't let Vegas get away with that. Good layup right there. Walter Davis tries to catch it too late. Good call by the left. And here's that full court. Man-to-man -man pressure. All the way. 40 minutes. And it's on inbound. And Ford spins away from Robert Smith. Only his foot just enabled him to get the ball into him. So far. Ford as he comes across the timeline. Ford is setting him up. North Carolina will try their passing game. This makes Nevada work harder on defense. Keep him on defense longer with a passing game. Utah gave Las Vegas some trouble here. Inside. Ball to Bellagaris out to Ford. Ford shot off the rim. Battle for the rebound is out of bounds on Walter Davis' hand. It's the University of Nevada to make this ball in. Ford picking up full court against Robert Smith. Kind of surprising right there because Smith can get that ball and generate some offense himself. Robert Smith fires and hits it. Send the ball. Nevada shot 49% this year. North Carolina shot 54%. Robert Smith using his hands a little bit defensively. That's annoying to Phil Ford. It'd be interesting to see how the officials call that when they call it hand checking up. There's a steal. Sam Smith in. Hits the layup. 12 to 4. And Las Vegas applying intense pressure. Leading by 8. Jumping out to an early lead with a quickness. Ford has the ball stolen. By sudden Sam Smith. Here's Eddie Owens with it. Owens shoots. Off the rim. Up for the rebound is O'Corn. Dribbles away and comes down now. Nobody guarding him. He goes. He hits it. And a wow. foul foul might be called. Yeah, it's going to be called on Gondrasek, and he's the guy that draws an awful lot of charges, but the real play right here is the fact that Michael Corn grabbed his rebound and nobody ever picked him up defensively. And he took the ball the length of the floor. He's actually uh, taken a two condo on a number of occasions. A real good drive and a good call by the official. No defensive position there. Foul was on Gondrasak. The basket counted. Michael Corn is at the line. Well, Corn has averaged 13.2 a game this year. He hits 74% of his free throws, and he's the top rebounder on the North Carolina team. North Carolina is a deep enough ball club from the bench to play enough people not to get worn out by Las Vegas. But Vegas, of course, rotates those eight men, so they always...
to have a fresh team. So I think we'll see two fresh ball clubs throughout this contest. They missed that free throw. They made 33 out of 36 against Kentucky. Ford passing to Davis. Out of front is Schuster. Schuster hits the shot. 12 to 8. Las Vegas in the lead. Robert Smith brings it into his fourth point. Setting up. Oh, tough ball yeah. all the way. But when you get this many possessions, Reggie see us through that one. When you get this many possessions, you can afford to throw some bad ones away. You want this tempo to continue. Oh, they're on it. They're quick. Schuster again. Off the rim. Yoniker comes out. Up and in. 12 to 10. The freshman, Rick Yoniker. Nevada in the lead. 12 to 10. Their ball. This is Tony Smith in the game now. This guy's so many of them. They're just shuttling them in and out. Coming in for North Carolina is... Uh, Bruce Buckley now, number 40. Walter Davis is going out. And suddenly Bradley's also coming in. Bradley, there. Bradley, number 22, is in. We're going to see a lot of rotation of players in this game. We're going to need uh, two score cards before it's over. 12 to 10. There's that full court man, a man pressure. I think Las Vegas is rated as a great offensive team, but Kurt, they've got a great pressure defense also. Suddenly Bradley gives it off. That's a uh, player control foul. Watch this. This is a football play here. Great play by Reggie C. As he sees and anticipates the pass going to Ford, gets in position when Phil turns. He has the full step and can't stop, obviously. Good call by the official. First foul on Phil Ford. Three team fouls on Nevada, two on North Carolina. And North Carolina changing up, going to a half court zone press right now. Here's a hack, I think. We yeah, have Bruce Buckley reaching in there on the on the foul. And we have a timeout on the court. We'll be back here, 15, 11 to go and a half. 12 to 10, Nevada of Las Vegas. This isn't the only championship competition going on in the NCAA. National Collegiate Championships for ice hockey at the Olympia in Detroit, which you saw on our highlights. Uh, swimming at Cleveland State will also be contested tonight. And Southern Connecticut's Olympic medal winner, Peter Corman, leads a talented field in the Division II Gymnastics Championship at Wheaton College. C, an NCAA championship. And we've got one going on right now. And they're in the stands watching this one. They got right a in double the view. <laughs> Yoniker clears the board, tries to start the fast break, gets it to Kister. Kister ties the game at 12 all. That's a real key for North Carolina. Looks like Vegas lost the ball out of bounds. Okay. Jerry Moffitt threw it away. Moffitt threw it away. It'll be North Carolina's ball in. Game tied, 12 all, 14-59. Here's Kister. There's Kister going in for the layup, and we're going to see Larry Moffitt, the guy taking the ball out of bounds. Now, Kister does a smart thing, playing very well. You can see Moffitt was going to make the pass and just lost it as he stepped in bounds. Kurt, any time you're playing against Las Vegas, you've got to break your guards in a fast break any time you can. You can't let them just have all the fast breaks. There's a horn shooting. Rebounded. A horn right back to Yoniker. He hits it, and North Carolina leads now for the first time. 14 to 12. Las Vegas jumped out early. North Carolina's come back. They're playing a 1-3-1, a point zone right now. Right, they like to change their defense and see which one will be effective. Eddie Owens fires. He's going out with it. Underneath, Gondrasak scores a tie at 14 off. Big strong man under the board, the top rebounder. Bill Ford brings it down against the pressure defense. That's interesting here. Reggie Sias is playing Bill Ford one-on-one. -on -one. He's such a, so much bigger, he can afford to stay with him, doing a good job. Into Yoniker, Yoniker. And again, he slipped away from his man and makes it 16 to 14. Yoniker has six points to freshman. Not much of a score this year. Now North Carolina back to man to man. Moffitt fires, lead away. Yoniker clears the board. What a job this freshman. His father is a great football player in the game. A blocking foul call on Reggie Theus. Reggie Theus. There was a case where Theus didn't get there in time. Here's Phil Ford right here. Going ahead with the ball, throws the ball. He his right arm is the arm that's been injured, Kurt. We haven't seen him it. He right. cannot extend his arm. He has a hyperextended elbow, and every time he straightens his arm, he has severe pain. Now we have Jeff Wolf in the ballgame. North Carolina players have the right to take themselves out of the ballgame by raising their fist, and of course, this has been a Dean Smith move for years, and maybe today more than ever is when he needed it. Boy, oh, there it is to Davis underneath. Foul by Reggie Fields. That'll be 
be the second foul on Theus and the fifth team foul on the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and Clark Indian unhappy with that one. His team is getting an early foul trouble here. 13-41 to go and a half. Five team fouls now in Las Vegas. I think what uh, Clark is really upset with is in his half-court defense, his team has not been able to stay with their man very well. And when that happens, of course, you're going to foul because you get there a day late and a dollar short. Here's a solid player, Walter Davis, averaged 15.3 a game this year. You'll notice his broken finger. He has three screws in the index finger of his shooting hand. He was operated on just before the Kentucky game. Normally, North Carolina would be in a full-court press right now, but I, I'd be kind of surprised to see him try to press this Vegas club. No, there they go. Full-court zone press. 18-14, North Carolina ahead. Sam Smith up and off the front of the rim. Retrieves his own shot. Drives and shoots again and gets it. 18-16 to 16 for Sutton Sam Smith. Carolina's ball. Long pass to Schuster. Schuster with Smith on him. Shot blocked. Davis going for it. It's out of bounds. It's off to Davis' hands. It'll be Nevada's ball in. What's so tough in pressing Las Vegas with his zone press? They'll throw the ball over the zone press, and then they'll take those shots from the corner. Your, your zone is designed to give up that shot, but Vegas can make it. There's Cletus, and there it is. Fires the game. One pass and a shot. 18 all. 13. What a pace this game is. That's exactly where you want teams to shoot from if you use that type of defense, but this club loves that shot. Bill Ford with Robert Smith right on him, off to Michael Thorne, he's wide open, can't get it. Kondrzak clears the board, Robert Smith in possession. Las Vegas to the attack. Reggie Theus to sophomore, driving the left-handed hooker. Ford cleared by Davis, back to Schuster, fast break, it's two on three though. Schuster to the trailing Bill Ford. He can't hit it, he's off and he's shooting. Goes Robert Smith, Gondrzak, all the way. Oh, great move by Gondo Gondrzak. 20 to 18, Las Vegas in the lead. Four points for Gondo. Bill Ford using a lot of reverse dribbles out there. That's very dangerous against this club because they have so much quickness defensively. Man can come from the weak side and kill him. Both teams are always getting the steal passes on defense. Gondrzak. Sam Smith, that's his shot. Look at that rebound, up and in, Reggie Seals, 22-18, Nevada of Las Vegas. Four points for Reggie Seals. North Carolina is a team very tired right now, and they have to go to a timeout as opposed to substituting. Intense. They have Paul trying to beat it off. Walter Davis, a short shot. He drills it, 22-20. Nevada in the lead, their ball. Back to come for Reggie Seals. Point. Not in good position at all. That's not great. He's off down. Wolf retrieves the rebound. Johnny Schuster, a very clever player, Richmond, Virginia. He's out in front now. And we're going to get three North Carolina substitution here. Two for Nevada. Bill Ford working against Robert Smith. That's a tremendous defensive player, Billy. He is. He's staying right with him. Good body position. Ford threw it away under pressure by Robert Smith. We see a lot of substitutions. Here they go on the break. They get off very well on a fast break. Here's Sando taking it, and a great crossover move he made there going into the layup using the left hand. Our score is 22-20. Nevada, Las Vegas in the lead. 11 minutes, 16 seconds to play and a half. Coming in now, Buckley 40 for North Carolina. Zella Garris is in there. Number 32 and number 22, Dudley Bradley. Dean Smith pouring in fresh players against this intense pressure that uh, Nevada puts on. Dean even feels the pressure over there. Off the his head. Sam Smith from way out. Ford was cleared there by Steve Patterson. Bill Ford brings it across. Robert Smith doing a good job taking away Ford's offense so far. Out in front. Off the rim it goes. Dudley Bradley retrieves the rebound. He fires and misses. Coming down with the ball. Tony Smith is big jumper off the Eddie Owens and Owens cracks it and scores 24 points. Woo! That was a bad shot selection by Dudley Bradley. North Carolina probably not playing as smart a game on their half-court offense as they normally do, but that's because of Vegas' pressure. Kicked out of bounds. It's off uh, Tony Smith's knee. And here's Schuster coming back in for North Carolina. Phil Ford may go out. Oh, 
Colstock comes in, not Houston. Colstock. Bill Ford being given a breather. He normally doesn't come out. He's got a lot of stamina, but in a game like this, he's got, got to be worn out. And there was a turnover. They threw it away. North Carolina now playing with five guys that did not start the ball game, so you can imagine it, what it does be to have to use your bench against this block. This is a Smith brother team in there right now. There are three Smiths to the floor for North Carolina, and wheeling in was Moffitt, and he's fouled by number 40, Bruce Buckley. Larry Moffat, who, according to Jerry Tarkanian, has been the most pleasant surprise for the running reps this year. Walter Davis checks back in. Here's Yonaker in, going out as Kraft Sisson. And Dean Smith going to get some of his starters back in the game. He has a, very interestingly, Kurt, that he can go ahead and make this many substitutions and still have some kind of continuity on his ball club. Of course, Tarkanian, it makes no difference. Guys are used to playing with any combination of eight. Eight-point average this year for Mighty Mo Moffitt, who's not a very good free throw shooter. He's averaged only 46%. But as a team, Nevada Super, they have hit 78% of their free throws this year, one of the best records in the country. 25 to 20, Nevada Las Vegas in the lead. Whole shot across the timeline. Just right on him. Here's that pass he came by North Carolina. He has it taken away, slapped away. Walter Davis got the rebound and hit it. 25 22, a lucky bounce for the Tar Heels. Eight points for Walter Davis. Yeah. Control. There's that one, one, three, one, yeah, zone one again. three one the point zone. They get in light of those corners. There's a shot outside. Foul call on uh, Colescott. Coming back in is Michael Corrin for North Carolina. We have 9.43 to go. Nevada of Las Vegas leading 25-22. Heard all the great sporting events that you've done, there always seems to be a pace that's set, and then once that's set, the guys kind of fall into it. Like in that first game, seems like the guys are starting to get used to this pace a little bit now. Tony Smith. Great shooter here, even though he didn't need to shoot it. Tony Smith is uh, a sophomore from Saginaw, Michigan, who went to the University of Houston and was a starter there as a freshman, and then transferred to Las Vegas. Now back in the lineup is John Schuster for the Tar Heels. Ball will be in play. Missed them both. Schuster retrieves the rebound. Down he comes. 25-22, Las Vegas. Walter Davis is shot. Davis is foul as he lets the shot go. Tony's fouled by foul. Tony Smith. He's a great leaper, too, for a young ball player. 6-1, but it's in the air. You notice that huddle by North Carolina at their free throw line. When they go to shoot free throws, they're calling their next defensive setup. Going out is Robert Smith. And Reggie Theus is back in. Walter Davis. One of four North Carolina players who played on our Olympic team. 25-23, Nevada of Las Vegas in the lead. Kind of hard to believe, but he's the uncle of one of the guys that played in the first game. Yes, uh, Nassi from UNC Charlotte. Rebounder. Now he's there. Down they come. Robert Smith across. Trying to drive on Phil Ford, who's just back in. Gets the shot away. He's got that one under too much pressure. John Schuster brings it right back to the Tar Heels. There goes a corn right down the key and he went with it. Here starts John Smith. Ball slapped away very quickly by Yonaker to be Las Vegas ball out of bounds. North Carolina comes in here with a 14-game winning streak, by the way, and a timeout with the score tied 25 all. The batter's ball in. There's that zone defense again. Good job by Michael Corn. Slapped over, up for the Janica. Just a slap to the cross court going. Just a nearly double dribble. Now Janica, they move that ball around. Michael Corrin out of the corner. Davis up for the rebound. Took it away and hits it. Water, Davis away from three men. 27-25, North Carolina. Davis has 11 points. Great timing on that rebound. Eddie Owens shot goes in the top. 27 off. He had three men on him. Go for it. Against Robert Smith. Offensively, Smith is really contained for it. Ford has the ball. There he goes. Ford feet off to a corner. 
Bill Ford gets the brilliant assist on that one. Eight points for freshman Michael Ford. And that one three one or what they call that point zone. Theus to Sam Smith. He pumps. He hits it. 29 all. Be honest with you, uh, Kurt. That zone against Vegas is, is really not the, the proper zone to play against them because they love to shoot from the area where that zone's weakest, the deep corner. There's the four corners by North Carolina. Probably trying to use it to slow down the clock a little. Houston lost the ball out of bounds. 7.52 to go. Coming in, number 40 for Carolina, Bruce Buckley. And let's see, we have a new player that's come in. Zach back in for Nevada. 29 all, just under eight minutes to play in the first half. Nevada's hit 50 percent. North Carolina 55 percent. North Carolina changing that zone a little bit now, more to a matchup situation where they go ahead and maybe just try to match up out front with the guards and have somebody down in the corner that Buckley was there on Smith. Here's Reggie Sears shooting. He hits it. 31-29, Nevada of Las Vegas. Reggie Fields has six points. Four to cross, tries to go, gives it off to Yonaker. Yonaker blew the layup, but the whistle had already blown. Foul's going to be on Ford for Ford. charging, charging. He can really penetrate, can he, Billy? He can penetrate, and of course, he has to be very careful to stop in time after he makes that pass. 16 fouls on each club now, and they'll both be in the bonus. We pause briefly for identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Television 7, Washington. It's lucky we had a wet spot on the floor. You can't pause five seconds with Nevada out there. You know, what's interesting, Kurt, is are the referees. I think it's amazing how in the world do you keep up with young kids like this running up and down this court. When are they going to get a ramp? Oh, well, find out. I'd laugh if one minute call a timeout and say, wait a second, let's play a game here. Off of GG. All the way jumper. Oh, 33-29, Nevada of Las Vegas. Three points for Mo Moffitt. Ford passing to Davis is stolen by Moffitt. Theus feeds it over to Robert Smith. That's a super defensive play there. This is a one guard team. They only have a one guard out there. Moffitt spinning in. Puts it off to Dondrezak. He squeezed in there. Back he comes. And it's kicked out of bounds by Carolina. It'll be the batter's ball out. Going out, Bruce Buckley, right back in again. Number 31, you see Michael Ford. 33-29, Nevada of Las Vegas in the lead. 6.29 to go in the half. Also back in, number 22, Dudley Bradley for North Carolina. Rich Yarniker's going out. And coming in, Steve Trapsizen, number 54. Dean Smith keeping fresh players on the court. They're going to want to jump ball. They've sent three new players into the ball game, and Jerry Tarkanian said, well, give us an opportunity to find out who's guarding who out here. You made the statement to me yesterday at practice that Nevada of Las Vegas was probably the best physically conditioned team you've ever seen. I think there are two reasons. I, I think that's true, Kurt. I think there are two reasons for it. One, the type of athlete they have who is a, a whip-it-hound type player, and two, I think Jerry Tarkanian really works on Theo Smith. Coming over the back. And Coming over the back. Larry Moffitt. Nevada. Larry Moffitt commits the foul. It's funny, on that out-of-bounds play, Sam Smith had himself anchored about 30 feet from the basket, just hoping somebody would throw him a pass to fire up one of those bombs. All right, we're in the bonus now. That's a 17 foul on Nevada. And going to the line, number 54, Steve Trapsizen of Chicago Ridge, Illinois, a freshman. There are three freshmen that are used a lot by North Carolina. Kurt, you saw this guy make some big ones in that Kentucky game. He did. <laughs> he got the air, and that's it. I'm sure Joe Hall wished you'd have seen him do that yeah. in the Kentucky game. They hit 33 out of 36 free throws against Kentucky. Uh, the greatest free throw shooting exhibition I've ever seen by a college team. They're not that good today at the line. Nevada leading by four, Robert Smith. The tip in by Moffitt. Beautiful by lead. Moe Moffitt up there, Larry Moffitt. 35-29, they get the ball in the future. Good switch by Reggie Sia. This is a well-disciplined defensive ball club. They don't get enough credit for the defense. There's a steal by Moffitt again. Good drive for the dunk. He has it. 
The way to stop that is to cover Phil Ford when he doesn't have the ball. And Robert Smith is doing that right now. He's like a piece of adhesive tape on him after Ford passes the ball. And that is the only way I know you can stop that defense. It certainly is. And, of course, the, the great quickness that Vegas has helps also. Now, Jerry Tarkanian called the timeout there. I'll tell you, this guy does a super job handling this basketball team. Uh, he knows exactly what pace he wants them to keep. He called that timeout, and I think the reason he did is they're getting carried away a little bit on their offensive end of the floor. Maybe some guys taking shots that he doesn't want. Dean Smith, who coached our Olympic team to the gold medal, he has won six Atlantic Coast Conference titles, the most of any coach out of that conference. This is the sixth time that North Carolina has been in the Final Four in their rich basketball history. And what a record Tarkanian has in nine years at a major college at uh, Long Beach State and at University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Get this record, 223 wins and 35 losses, better than 80%. And his team never lost a home game at Long Beach State. They won 59 in a row at Las Vegas. You know, uh, I was interested to see in a paper this morning where Denny Crum picked uh, Las Vegas to win this ball game, and he played both of these teams. And North Carolina, probably against Louisville, played the best game that we saw any one team play all year long, and Denny Crum still feels that Las Vegas should be favored. Lou Brown is in on the jump ball. It's over to Phil Ford. There's Davis. He's up with a shot. Blocked away by Sam Smith. Houston fires. Won't go. And a tip in. A beautiful tip in by Michael Ford. 41-37. Michael Ford has 12 points. Great back from Las Vegas to hit. 43-37. Sam Smith is a guy that loves that spot on the floor in about three or four occasions now. North Carolina is letting him take the shot, which is at death. He can't let him have that. There's Phil Ford shooting. He's not hitting Phil Ford. He's off and he's... Oh, Ford stole the ball. And he stepped on the baseline. Let's watch Ford's shot here. Let's take a look at these touches. That yeah, will get it later. Eddie Owens. Owens left fly. He banks it home. 45 37. This is a spurting team, Nevada. They'll go a little quietly and suddenly they'll bang you home with six or eight points in a row. They now have an eight point lead. North Carolina trailing as they're into the fourth quarter. 238 to go in the half. Davis on a shake and go shuffled his feet. He did. And uh, Reggie Theus is checking back in for Nevada of Las Vegas. Sam Smith going out. You'll see Walter Davis coming out from inside. Eddie Owens playing him. Now Walter's going to try to take him one on one. And probably North Carolina's done too much of this. To be honest with you, I think that was a good take. He had his feet planted on the floor pretty well. Out goes Yonaker. In comes Jeff Wolf, number 42. We're down to two and a half to go in the half. Reflected out by Waller Davis. Nevada of Las Vegas leading by eight points. Furious action here in this first half. Almost opposite of the first game, which was a slow-down tempo game. Well, Lewis Brown really strong on the inside, trying to get position. Eddie Owens making, driving. Oh, what that was. He took that ball from his right hand to his left hand in the air. Here's Phil Ford. Ford up with a jumper. He hits it. There he is. 45-39. If he didn't hit that one, then he's really got problems because that is the shot he likes. He can right down, bounce up off the dribble and take that one in. That's his first pass to Robert Smith back. Softly, it goes in for Robert Smith. When you have a soft touch on the ball, it'll roll around and drop in for you. Just slam them up their heart. Forget about it. Ford comes back again. With a minute 38 to go in the half. Trailing by eight. Ford working against Smith. Out in the four-corner offense now. Right back to Ford again. Ford passing to Michael Thorne. He drives and hits the shot. 47-41. Nevada leading. Michael Thorne has 14 points. Davis has 15 for the Tar Heels. That was Sam Smith out of the ball game. Las Vegas really doesn't have that great perimeter shooter that they have with him in there, although all the other guys can shoot well. Eddie on misses. Davis taps it to Ford. Pass break. Ford. To Schuster. Schuster had a shot. Ford fires. Can't get it. Up on a follow. Here's O'Corn. He can't get it. And a rebound by Big Lou Brown. 
Round off to Robert Smith. 50 seconds to go in the half. Up he goes. They don't wait for any last shot of the half. They just go. That was great dribbling by Robert Smith in ball control that time. He went through two people in a very difficult maneuver. 49-41. The Battle of Las Vegas in the lead. We're down to 34 seconds in the half. They're going to get the last shot now in the fourth quarter game. Get across the five seconds. Right, because they're part. behind. They have to force the action. You can see Jerry Tarkanian saying just the opposite. Let's us play back in there. Don't give them any cheap one at this point in the game. They'll start their shot process with 10 seconds to go. They're down to 12. Now 10. Now they'll start to work. They'll get moving. He didn't see the clock soon enough. They're four and up. Four and up. Four and up. Underneath, he goes to a corner and they get it. Big basket by Carolina. There's the buzzer. And the end of the first half. In today's National Collegiate Basketball Championship Tournament, Eastern Time. Yonaker jumping against Larry Moffat. North Carolina in the dark. Nevada Las Vegas has a dip there in the white. Remember, their goal is to go 40 minutes all out. And there's Eddie Owens making the score 51 43. Picking up full court again, a little trap that time by Eddie Owens. Boy, broke it beautifully by going through and cutting the team on two. By the score, he loses the ball. Off to come back. That's the 17th turnover by North Carolina. And the way this Nevada team can shoot, you can't turn the ball over to him. Now, you can't give them that many possessions easily. Beautiful move by Don Jacek. He's got it. 53 43. Definitely, this is Nevada's biggest lead of the game. Bill Ford brings it down. The Rebels open the game this way. Boy, Moffitt did a beautiful switch right there on that last play. One of the small things you can't respect enough about this club. Bill Ford from outside, 53-45. Ford hit some of those buckets 20 feet out. 53-45. Robert Smith off to Eddie Owens, who came out to help. Now Smith meeting Sudden Sam Smith. He got that nickname when he came in the game and hit nine points in seven seconds. <laughs> that was in seven, seven minutes. minutes. <laughs> seven seconds. <laughs> well, here, here's that one C one against the out of bounds again. Oh, yeah. He'll shoot from there. He hits yeah, it. Yeah, it's a good game. 45. And he just threw that ball suddenly, too, just with a touch of his hand. He has 14 now, Sam Smith. The thing that's so amazing, Kurt, is that they know North Carolina is going to use that out of bounds zone. And Smith just goes down and finds an opening in, and he can shoot it from that far out. Bill Ford. That's his reverse spin across the Yonaker. Yonaker's up and in, 55-47. The Battle of Las Vegas in the lead. Eight points for Rick Yonaker. Here's Eddie Owen. Robert Smith. Dundazak outside. No. Pop it up. Foul called on number 42, Larry Moffitt. No players in foul trouble. Two is the most fouls of any uh, individual in the game. And that's remarkable when you consider the pace that this game has been playing. There's that full court man to man again, and everybody just nose on nose to their player, and without a screen, it's hard to get anything. Out of bounds. I can hear Tarkini and y'all. Let it go, let it go. That was not a smart pass by Michael Korn, and once again, good defense uh, forced what was a, another turnover. 18 turnovers against North Carolina, six against Las Vegas. Look at Sam Smith right down in the corner. That time, he was covered. Robert Smith out of the corner. Moffitt has it. Moffitt to Eddie Owens, loses the ball to Walter Davis. They're looking for the fast break. They have a three-on-one. Bill Ford driving the bank shot. Won't go for him. Yannick are up. He hits it. 65-49. Boy, well, that young freshman has come on so well for the North Carolina team. Remember, North Carolina trailed Notre Dame by 15 in the second half and won. Gondazak took too many steps. Traveling call on Gondazak. And a turnover charge to Las Vegas. You kind of get the feeling now that Las Vegas getting away from their game. And look at Jerry Tarkanian. Once again, he takes the big time out. He knows things are getting away from him. He really uses those timeouts well. 17.32 to play. 55.49 to score. Nevada, Las Vegas in the lead. And with facilities. Sports leadership in this country comes from NCAA members. 
preceding message furnished by the NCAA. North Carolina's ball, and uh, trying to get that ball in, O'Corin. What happened is the same thing that happened in the first game. Once the ball is put in play on the sidelines, it, now on the sideline area, you're not allowed to move. It's just like you're on the court. You can't travel on the sideline getting the ball in bounds. Butch Lee did it on the end line when he had the ball, and it was not a score. Corrin down to Phil Four. Layup. Got him on the elbow. That's Moffat in behind him. And it's calling for John Lacey, the trainer. You see Dean Smith and Lacey are both down there. Here's Phil Ford going in now. Moffat is a great shot blocker. Ford knows this. He tried to create a shot here. And you'll see him come down and hit the arm right there. I think he just barely missed the elbow. I don't know. I have to look at it again. Phil yeah, Ford. Moffat has three fouls on him. He's the first player in the game with three fouls. That's the second team foul on Las Vegas. And Ford, usually a deadly free throw shooter. That's why he did it. Kurt, he's thinking about his shot now as opposed to just shooting on rhythm. And when that happens, even to the great ones, they're not going to have that good assurance that they normally have. 55 to 50. Nevada, Las Vegas in the lead. Early in the second half. Robert Smith. Tough shot. Goes. travels. Traveling call on Gondrasak, and now that's the eighth turnover on Las Vegas, and they've committed a couple of turnovers in the last minute or two. They have. Uh, Larry Moffitt got popped right in the nose. He's going over to the sidelines. He might have gotten his nose broken right there as Gondrasak came down and hit him with an elbow. He's really hurting. And this is a very, very bad injury for Jerry Tarkanian because Moffitt is the key to his defense inside. He's really hurt. He's from Gary, Indiana, a transfer from Thompson Junior College. And it's been a very valuable player for him the last six weeks. We'll see the elbow. Now watch John Jazak. He goes up for the rebound. And when he comes down, he swings on through and hits Moffat. Here he comes, right here. He pops it Ooh. right there. And really a tough shot. And boy, you can see Moffat going to the nose right away. John Jazak is 6'6", well over 200 pounds from Boulder, Colorado. He's a rugged customer inside. And when he starts throwing those elbows around, you better not be in the way. And they're attending to uh, Moffat's nose. Lou Brown will come in, a 6'11 senior from Los Angeles, to replace Moffat. Lou Brown in the lineup. Well, I thought he was coming in the lineup, but I can't find him out there. Looks like he's going to go with a small team in the lineup right now, and he's got Ricky Sheas in there. Well, the he changed his mind. Yes, he did. This is a very quick club, not very tall out there right now. Sheas at 6'7 is the biggest guy on the floor for Los Angeles. Wally Davis. Davis right on. Davis had great defensive position there, low to the ground, like a boxer. Jonathan passing off. The shot is good by Michael Corum. 55-52, the battle of Las Vegas. And that's the shot that, that uh, Larry Moffitt would normally eliminate. Reggie Fias fires. Eddie Owens on the rebound. Up for again is Reggie Fias. Eddie Owens has the ball. Call on Walter Davis. Boy, the uh, Rebels hung up on that offensive board that time. That's three on Walter Davis. Great quickness and leaping ability inside, and Rich Yonica was on the perimeter, and he never could get back in there to position to be the strong rebounder that North Carolina needed. And look for Sam Smith again. Anytime if they go against us out of bounds. There's Owen. Walter Davis leading a fast break. John Schuster. Schuster spins it off there. Good play by John Schuster. He doesn't want to challenge Sandra Zach. He feeds back O'Corn. Great penetrator on the one-on-one -on -one drive. And there you can see Sam Smith was not in position to draw the charge. That's the first foul on Sam Smith, the third team foul on Nevada. That's just a good play by Schuster. He's good knowledge of the game and doesn't try to do something that he doesn't have the tools to do. Maybe the best thing that, about him in basketball. There's O'Corn who can throw the basket as well as anybody in the game. Nevada led by 10, nine points in a row now by North Carolina, unanswered. And it's up, but it's a tie game at 55 all. And Jerry Tarkanian tried that small lineup. Now he's got Lewis Brown in the game. He knows he needs a little more size. Brown is number 24. 6'11 now. 
jump ball is called on the five second rule. And now the North Carolina fans are going wild. The pace of this ball game has been so fantastic that unless you can get ready to withstand the onslaught by Vegas, you're going to be blown out of the gym. It looks like North Carolina getting a little second wind of their own now. Before it taps it back in to Jeff Wolf. See that, Kurt? Good talk on the part of the guy saying, you say that I'll catch it just like in baseball and football or any other sport. Good team work there. Got to talk in all sports. Talk to each other. Easter. Just on him. There's Walter Davis double team. Davis off the shot is good. North Carolina takes the lead. 57 to 55. One of the few times they've had the lead in the game. Walter Davis has scored 17. Eddie Owen back. Robert Smith up. Off the rim. They're not shooting as well. The rebound cleared by Michael Korn. What a freshman he is. They're not taking good shots. And look for Dean Smith. He's going to four corners right now. I'm kind of surprised at this, Kurt, because they have pretty good momentum without him. 59-55. Time out by Nevada, Las Vegas. North Carolina has ripped off. 14 points in a row to take the lead. Nevada's fallen behind now by four. And Kurt, you talk about most valuable players. Larry Moffitt went out of there and it changed everything. Now, North Carolina going to a 2-1-2 zone. First time they've used this all game. There's a Pimp, Sam Pimp. Short Dister has it. Dister dribbles around Smith. Dister drives. Bradley, he ran with the ball. He, he did. Turned it up in the air and ran. Great it. defense by Gondo. That 2-1-2 two -two zone is going to be a little bit different for Vegas to attack. Good move by Kuster. Gets the ball around Robert Smith, but here's where Glenn Gondosak really hustled and made a great defense. Yeah, right right Super hustle right there. 15 minutes to go. 59-55 North Carolina. Now they're back to the 1-3-1. One -one. That's kind of surprising. That 2-1-2 two -one -two is kind of designed. Wet spot on the floor. Herb Brown's going to take care of it right now. North well, Carolina throws a variety of defenses at you. They have an all-court press, a man-to-man, -man, an all-court trap zone press. They have a half-court man-to-man. They have a 1-3-1 one -one zone. They have a 2-1-2. Two -one -two. <laughs> then they have a zone where they go after the ball. Everybody goes after the ball. You know, uh, Kurt, with this little slowdown in the action, uh, the zebras or refs or bad guys, or whatever you want to call them, uh, have worked their way to the national finals for the first time themselves this year and the fact that they've been picked based on merit to get here and i'd have to say that the guys that have worked these two games so far even though the games are entirely different have really been on top of it now las vegas is moving that ball around more they've been told to pass more move it around get better shots but that's not their game they need to put it up and keep running north carolina zone doing a good job right here look for sam smith to try to get open there's reggie Pius. Foul called on uh, number 40 of uh, North Carolina. That's Bruce Buckley. That'll be the second team foul on Carolina and three on Nevada of Las Vegas. Rick Jonicker is reporting back into the game. Larry Moffitt is holding his nose right now. I think that nose is broken, uh, Kurt. You can see him down there. He's got something trying to keep the blood from coming out, but I'm sure it's very sore. Going to take away from his running the way this ball game is moving. This is a good sliding goal by North Carolina. They're moving very quickly, sliding with the ball. They are. They're matching up in there now, trying to keep Vegas away from getting those perimeter shots in the corner. Leah fires. Rebounded by Phil Ford. North Carolina's ball. Their fans are on their feet as they come down court. They were behind by 10 or ahead by 4 now. And you can see it. See us on four the game. There's the steal by Sam Smith. 55. Makes it 57-59. And you very rarely see anybody steal the ball against North Carolina's four-corner game. 21 turnovers against North Carolina. 11 against Nevada Las Vegas. So you're right, you very seldom see it, but you very seldom ever see the quick that you think it says, I need you to see them. Walter Davis off. Got blocked underneath. Yonaker hangs up there. It's out of bounds. It'll be North Carolina's ball. Coming back in is Mike. Four seconds left. Now uh, checking in is Tony Smith. Sophomore going out is the senior Robert Smith. Maybe we can get a shot of that nose uh, protection that Larry Moffat has got right now. It's got to hurt his breathing. Ford driving. Ford's up with the layup and hits it. 61-57. North Carolina in the lead. 
Bill Ford. Oh, Tony Smith. Tony Smith turned it over. Legal double. It'll be North Carolina's ball. Vegas a little bit uh, ramble scramble right now. They're not playing their basketball game, and I'm sure the Tark is upset with it. He's used two timeouts to try to settle things down, and you can get the feeling that seemed to tide kind of swinging the other way a little bit right now. He'll bring them back if anybody can. North Carolina going into their fourth corner off now. Ford in the middle. Five foul as he went to the floor. Foul is called on Gondazat, I think. Let's check it. There were two men there in the way as Ford went down the middle. Gondo a little upset. He better calm down a little bit. Ford made the move. See us uh, 6'6", six, six. look at the quickness he has to be able to stay with the Bill Ford. Probably a foul right out there. Wasn't called, and here's the foul being called right there. Gondo felt he had position and may have. Gondozak, Bill Ford had hit 16 free throws out of 16 in NCAA tournament play until he missed one in the first half. Nothing wrong with his elbow right now. 16. 57 North Carolina. And there you saw John Houston running in to call out the defense for North Carolina. See if they're going to go into a press. No, nope. they're dropping back and they're going to force Vegas move that ball around and take some more outside shots. 63 57 North Carolina. The shot by Tony Smith hits it. 63 59 in favor of North Carolina. That's what they wanted to do, but Smith replied beautifully. Ford gets it across. To pass off and look for Reggie Fields game. He came all the way from out in front and went in there and deflected that ball out. That's what they all are. Good observation, Kurt, because he was about 20 feet from where he eventually slapped that ball away and just instantaneously he was back there. Houston will inbound it. Gets it into Michael Corn. A lot of talking going on out there. North Carolina trying to slow things down a little bit. Now they're setting up in the four corner game. Larry Moffat got his hand on the ball again. Super defensive player. Tony Smith. Moffat. So Ford pulls the rebound down. Our Hill ball. They're ahead by four. We're approaching 12 minutes to go. Marquette won the opening game at the buzzer, 51-49. Ford passes to a ball. Right there, 65-50. How about a freshman, the poise he plays it. Team change direction up there. There you go. Now there's Reggie C. It really wasn't hit that hard. Ford with the reverse dribble. Now Corin takes it to the basket. I've mentioned so many times beautifully. Gondrasak trying to pull him up, draw the charge. But this young guy going to foul line first a super young ball player. Well, he's, what a career he has ahead of him. Three more years at Chapel Hill. 66-69, North Carolina in the lead. He's always kidding about last year at this time I was playing for the county championship, right? Pretty big challenge for the national championship. The shot by Tony Smith is 66-61. Remember, North Carolina in the lead, but Las Vegas is a splitting team that can get on fire and hit 10 points in a row in a minute or two. So he's talking about Tony like Tony Smith. Talked about North Carolina Michael occupying Corrin. the ball. And this is what they like to Look do. Look at cover Ford without the ball. They were right on him. See us covering Ford without the ball. And Ford can't get him. Ford says they're holding <laughs> me. I don't think so. I think Theus is just doing a real good job. Watch this. Watch him now. Watch him covering. He won't let him get the ball, as you pointed out, Kurt. That's just good D right there. Look at the movement. Good That's great coverage by Reggie Theus. Yes, sir. Tony Smith on him. Fisher throws it away again. Twice in a row he's throwing it away. Moffitt handles the two. Then walk. Walking on Moffitt. 23 turnovers charged in North Carolina. 13, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Jerry Tarkanian, the Armenian, yelling something out to his team. 66-61, North Carolina. Just over 11 minutes to play. The winner plays Marquette for the national championship Monday night. O'Corin driving up. Feed off by Bill Ford. What he's doing, too, is he's making a good slide shot as he goes in there. Moffitt wants to block it, but when he gets there, O'Corn slides through the air beautifully. 58-61, North Carolina. Kister. 
Well, Corrin said he was held, and yeah. he was held, but there's no way Irv Brown could have seen it because he was blocked on the play. Oh, there's Corrin going out. Here, we'll see it right here now. Corrin makes the steal. Now, watch Diaz grab his arm. There was no way, as I said, Irv Brown was killed. Mike, you're right, but a little bit too late. You can't blame him. They can't be right on every one. Robert Smith. Good pass. Diaz to Moffitt. Moffitt spins. Oh, the old ice cream scoop drive by Larry Moffitt. 68-63. Well, you have to love the competitiveness of these two ball clubs. They've gone after each other. Maybe some guys take it. Hold on the floor. Out of bounds. And who are they going to give it to? It's a foul. It's going to be a foul. Bruce Buckley going to the line. Ford can't believe that he wasn't fouled. Here's Ford. He makes the move. There you go. Diaz bumps him once. They don't call it. Actually, those were probably was a foul before. Ford gets it back. Tries to make a move. There's the fake by Diaz. A little bit of trip. Ford gets the recovery. There's Buckley getting fouled. But super action. Really good camera work staying right with that one. We have a technical also call on this play. The foul was on Gondrazak, and he's a man at the beast that had the technical call on him. Four fouls on Gondrazak. Bill Ford up and in. And Ford is wearing a knee pad now. Ford thought he was going to get two. He thought it was on the bench, and I think you pointed out properly, Kurt, that it was on Gondo. He almost got one just a few minutes ago. You remember, he was a little hot. There he is, Gondo Gondrazak. 69-63, North Carolina in the lead, 10-19 to play. It'll be Carolina's ball out of bounds after the technical. And the reason Buckley didn't shoot, of course, is because they're not in the one and one yet. And North Carolina only has two teams. They only have two, and Nevada of Las Vegas has six. So the running Reds are in foul trouble with 10 minutes to go. See, it's really hand-checking out there and getting away with it so far. Towards the top. They're not calling that. There's Ford right back again. Smith comes in, steals the ball away from him. Good play by Smith. Smith up with a bad shot that time. Yonaker has the deep rebound. Smith got under pressure. Didn't get a good shot for him. Well, that's what this slowing this ball down does. Uh, Vegas wanting to put it up there quickly. They're going to have to be a little bit more patient than they've been now. the famous box for a four-corner game in North Carolina. Nobody can do it any better than they can. They really innovated this offense. Very Tarkanian up off of that bench, and he wants to get some fresh troops in here defensively. Great right back for underneath. Goaltending will be called. Goaltending is called, and the basket given to Bruce Buckley. Boy, this is just... Buckley draw it out on the chalkboard. There's Sando coming out to cut off the passing lane. Buckley goes back door. Sando goes up from goal 10. Good call by the official. Vegas right now is going to get back into their patient offense a little bit. Take shots. Take good shots. Reggie Thea Smith. The tip in is good by Moffitt. A Lou Brown. No Moffitt got it. Give it to Moffitt. 71-65. North Carolina leading 8.45 to play. Moffitt is 13 points. Diaz is doing what you again. talk about and what Coach Wooden says. Don't let Ford get the ball when he gives it up. There's Diaz coming out, trying to pretend he's in hand. Diaz right on Ford and against the near sideline. So Kister takes over. Kister and Ford are outstanding dribblers. Good Ford passing to Yonaker. See yeah, Yonaker bouncing up there. You gotta like the way that these young players play. We pause briefly for identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Kurt Gowdy, Billy Packer, Dick Enberg with you from the Army in Atlanta. Rich Yonaker at the line. The foul was on Reggie Theus, his third. 17 fouls on Nevada and Las Vegas. Only two on North Carolina. And they're up to their old tricks of hitting these free throws when they're fouled in their four-corner control offense. Well, Kurt, right now, Joey Tarkanian's got two problems. One, 
he's got to worry about the four corners defensively. But I think even more importantly, and, and unfortunately for him, when Moffitt went out of the ball game, they got away from their offense. And that's what he's got to get them back to doing right now, and that's why he called the timeout. But during that timeout, you can see Jerry Bakinian working specifically on offensive things, not defensive. And we had a camera down on him when we were away there. He knows his club's got to get better shot selection. There's Dallas, another turn. Dallas stole the ball. North Carolina's ball, they're leading by seven. Just over eight minutes to play. Marquette won the first game at the buzzer, 51-49. Holstock, number 20. Phil Ford on the bench, they give him a rest. Pull out from behind. That's Zalagaris. Zalagaris dribbling around, loses the ball. And a foul is called on the North Carolina player. Their timeouts remaining. Only one for the running Rebs and five left for North Carolina. They saved theirs. I also think there with Dave Colescott coming in the game, uh, Dean Smith knowing he needs to rest for the like to rest him with the lead. Colescott uh, did something you can't do in the fourth corner, but once you start dribbling, you got to keep dribbling until you can make a pass. Eddie Owens up. Easy Eddie hits it to make it 72-67, North Carolina. That's their ball game right there. Good percentage jump shot. You know they like to put it up quickly. In this game, they've got to take better shots. Walter Davis passing underneath to Michael Thorne. Oh, yes. Low the layup of Thorne's up. And a foul call underneath. Foul call underneath. It might be called on Eddie Owens. Bill Ford's coming back in. Kister, they're getting your dribblers or playmakers back in the lineup. Look at Moffitt's nose. There's the case. Now, you'll see... O'Corn going up. He really didn't know whether to dunk it or to put it against the rim, and he actually didn't get high enough. Everybody from Vegas assumed he was going to make that shot and ran away from it, except right. for Eddie on. Here's your story of this half. This is what it's all about in this half. University of Nevada, Las Vegas has hit only 36% of their field goals. North Carolina's at 78%. Right now, North Carolina's starting to miss free throws. Third, I think shot selection has been the thing that's really hurt Vegas more so than, than the fact that they haven't been hitting. 73-67 North Carolina. They made 13 out of 18 free throws. And O'Corn is the high of the game. He has 27 points for freshman. There's that compact zone right now. There's the man they need to. Sam Smith drills a 73-69. Four-point lead for North Carolina. 18 points for Sutton Sam Smith. Bill Ford across. Time remaining, seven minutes. There's O'Corn, wide open. He hits oh, it. What Bill Ford. But Bill Ford, really some brilliant assist that he's made in this half. 29 points for O'Corn. 75, 69. Sam Smith out of the corner. Ford down to Michael Ford. Going for the dunker. He has it. 77, 69. O'Corn has had 31 points. A lot of them have been set up by Phil Ford. And Kurt, once again, not a good shot by Sam Smith. He's just got to be a little bit more patient and take a good shot. There's another guy. He hits that, that one. He hits that one, though. 77-71, North Carolina. Ford gets it out to Schuster. Heard the talk in the background. We can hear that up here. Hey, Phil, Phil. Approaching six to go. Walter Davis. Bad pass by Davis. Trying to hit O'Corn, who was wide open on a two-on-one. Walter Davis didn't have much of an angle. Good defensive job that time again by Larry Moss. O'Corn goes out. They'll rest him now for the final three or four minutes. Coming in is number 42, Jeff Wolf. Time remaining, six minutes, four seconds. A six-point lead for North Carolina. Hey, if Vegas has some super fans and they're calling for him to get it going again. Eddie Owens, fall away jumper. Rebound by John Kister, who protected it when he pulled it down and forced it. Come on, now, let's set up. There again, a bad shot. They can get better shots than this, and I think they ought to be going to Sam Smith when he's in that ball game because he takes a good percentage jumper. Davis couldn't find Ford open, so he penetrates. Off. Buckley now Wolf has it. Wolf gives the ball to Ford. That was a dangerous pass, almost a quarterback handoff. Look at Sias has there. got his arm. He's holding Ford out there. He's going to make sure Ford doesn't touch that ball. There's David. Eddie Owens on him. He turned the ball over. David Good turned defense. it over. 77-71. Sarkenian says we're six behind. Let's go. 
5.15 to play. 26 turnovers against North Carolina. 14 against University of Nevada and Las Vegas. Zach's back in the game now. He has four fouls on him. Well, this has been a great basketball game. These guys are going to be worn out when they hit that sack tonight. They need an off day tomorrow. The winner will. The play mark kept Monday night for the national title. Theus, Robert Smith trying to go baseline. There's Gondrazak powering in. Comes back out with it. Well, the corner of the shot is hit by Reggie Theus at 77 73. And Las Vegas hangs right in with him. Now we're just... 10 behind. Now they're back to four. Good offense that time, Kirsty. They held on the ball for about 10 seconds or so and looked for a good shot and took it. A lot of time left in this ballgame. Ford. Now it's Schuster out in front. Ford passing. Underneath, Jeff Wolf blew the layup. Gondrazak has it. It'll be a foul on Buckley. Foul on uh, Bruce Buckley. You know, Theus really doing a good job on Ford. You have to respect him for the job he's done. Ford makes a great pass right inside here. I thought Wolf made a heck of a play getting that shot off also, but he missed it, and there's Buckley coming over the back. 14 fouls on North Carolina, seven on Nevada of Las Vegas, three fouls on Bruce Buckley. Right back to Reggie Theus. Robert Smith, jumper, no, pass it off to Van der Zach. Van der Zach getting out front to Robert Smith. Little hurried shot, Buckley clears the board for North Carolina. Big rebound. Smith didn't hit that, but it was a good shot selection. All the shots are important now with 3.47 to go. Dean Smith would like his team to foul on a little more. He is right on Bill Ford. What a job he's doing. There it is to Davis. Davis up and in. Roller Davis on a driving layup. 79-73, the assist by Ford. 19 points for Waller Davis. The running ribs are six points down. Eddie Owens. Wait, that one's going to be called a charge. Charging call on Eddie Owens. And Tarkenian uh, didn't like it. The third foul on um, Easy Eddie. Now, uh, Jerry Tarkenian's probably going to have to go with his drill gunners from the outside, Tony Smith and Sam Smith. He's got Tony in the ball game now, and Robert Smith goes out and sits down for a while. 3.24 to go in this game. Player control foul, he had no uh, shot. Goniker jammed up. Now dribbles it out, that's the only way he can go. Now he holds it up as he set up the four-corner game. He just rolled that one out. North Carolina trying to protect the six-point lead. Schuster. There's the hold on the hand check. Inside. Hey, Tony Smith. And Kurt, this is what's so tough down the wire now, is uh, guys like Schuster and Ford are Real good at hanging on to that ball and tough to handle him one-on-one. -on -one. Tony Smith committed the foul. Here's Sam Smith checking back in. We'll have a one-on-one -on -one situation coming up now. Tarkanian's got that towel in his mouth now. He's really chomping down on it. Hey, he is a great basketball coach and he just put the towel under the bench and going to the fingernails. I'll tell you one thing, he has one of the most exciting teams I've ever watched play. I, I agree with that. I think they're the more fun to watch than any team that's been in college basketball in a long time. Ron Schuster. Short. Schuster retained possession. Quick hand. Boy, that was O'Corn got those hands in there. How important was that possession? Walter Davis. Trying to hold on to the six-point lead. We're under three minutes to play. Pick it up Ooh, to the dribble. Smith nearly stole that one. Walter Davis underneath. O'Corn didn't shoot. He brings it back out. The third the thinking is here, if you have the ball and the lead, if you don't ever give up the ball, the game is over. So rather than take a shot that has any chance of not going in there, North Carolina will hang on to possession. There's Yonaker. Yonaker back. O'Corn is really moving around nicely. Theus has just got Bill Ford to get the ball. Good steal. Really stopped him that time. He couldn't get the ball to Phil Ford, but Reggie Spears, number 23, all over him. That's the last timeout by Vegas. That's the last timeout. Let's watch Spears and Ford without the ball. Now, Ford sees he's the key man in the middle of that four corner, and he can't get the ball back again. He's trying to go get it. 
There he gets right. Actually, I don't think that was any foul at all. A good no call by the official. There is Ford just running into field. He is really doing the job, though, keeping the ball away from him. I want to appreciate the outstanding job Art Hoffman doing with statistics. Here's inside the huddle with Dean Smith. I think what's really interesting, Dean Smith did in the second half what he wanted to is control the pace of this game a little bit. Vegas had 49 points at halftime, only has 73 right now, and that's really somewhat of a mild well, loose. He's loose. He's yeah, a little is. bit and trying to keep him loose. Boys, uh, we have 2.23 to go, a six-point lead. 31 points by Michael Corn. He's the high of the game. Waller Davis has 19 points. Phil Ford has 12. He got 10 in the second half and a raft of uh, uh, assists. 18 points for Sam Smith, 14 for Eddie Owens, 13 for Larry Moffitt. Don Rizak has eight. And uh, nine points for Robert Smith. There's Bobby Knight, the Indiana coach, who won the national title last year. His team undefeated. The spectator today, and it contains from year to year. Unless to John Wooden. Nice going. Still the Tony Smith outside. He cracks it. 79-75 now. I think the key now with Tony Smith and Sam Smith in the game is for Vegas to get the ball back some. Ford throws it away. Off and stole it. Shot by Tony Smith. He oh, he hit it. Downtown that time by Tony Smith. 79-77. Eight points for Tony Smith. Las Vegas right in here, 145 to go. North Carolina had a six-point lead, now they're only two ahead. Ward down the middle, goes all the way. Missed the shot, Yonaker. And a foul call on Eddie Owens. All right, Moffitt did a good job just hanging in there defensively and making Ford commit himself, and Ford at the last second decided to shoot this one on the rim. We have to ward our most valuable player in this game. I don't know who it's going to be. Well, we'll just have to wait. There's Ford. He's trying to find out what's going to happen. And he makes his move. Moffitt does just enough to alter that shot. He's really a key for Vegas defensively. Rick Yonager off the front rim. They missed some free throws here in the last five minutes. And now 13 out of 20 at one stage. They have 12 out of 16. He missed them both. Jump ball. Michael Korn. Will jump against Moffitt. So Yonaker missed them both. And if Nevada of Las Vegas gets possession, they have a chance to come down and tie this game. Now they've got their best jumper going against uh, North Carolina's forward. Dean Smith wants a timeout. I guarantee he won't be smiling during this timeout. All right, let's take a timeout from court side. It's North Carolina 79, Nevada of Las Vegas 77. Ball in off Schuster's hand. Smith into the ball game. He's got Sam Smith in the ball game. Both guys great perimeter shooters. Puts a lot of pressure on North Carolina, who surprisingly goes man and man. Tony Smith up. He's short. Rebound. O'Corn has it. The freshman's in their top rebounder all year. That's my selection for MVP. Boy, he's had some game, but we'll have to wait for that one later. Let's see how it goes. Ford picks up his dribble. Schuster in possession. One minute to play. Foul on Tony Smith. There's some we're, nice gonna, we're not going to announce it right now. Our buddy Jim McGorman trying to make us quick commit ourselves here. <laughs> the uh, winner will get the Gillette Track 2 Most Valuable Player Scholarship Award, and the $1,000 check will be sent to the school in the player's name, and the player will receive. The uh, track two most valuable player certificate. Schuster at the line. That one rolls for him. I tell you, they're really laboring on the foul line, sir. I, I wonder one thing. Are the roulette uh, wheels still spinning out there? Is everything stopped in Las Vegas right now? Well, Sark is chewing the towel. He says they stop him at a point like this. They got a both. 81-77 North Carolina. Six points. They've got to get that ball to Sam Smith to put it up quickly. There he is. North Carolina knows that, too. There's Smith. Jump shooting. Hit the side of the bat. Out of bounds off Michael Corrin's hands. It'll be the battle Las Vegas ball in. I think Smith, he's griping a little bit. I think he was fouled on the arm himself. He tried to put it up. 
Great Important fans, possession uh, here. Nevada, Las Vegas has 5,000 ticket requests. The steal by Schuster. 40 seconds to play. Hard play there. Four point lead for North Carolina. They've got a success. He knows the clock is more important than anything. And it's out of bounds. And it'll be Nevada, Las Vegas ball in. Schuster couldn't quite hang on to possession. 31 seconds to go. North Carolina with a four point lead. Short, the clock moving away, down to 27, 26. Shot by Tony Smith. Oh, he hit it. 81-79. The steal by Tony Smith. Las Vegas has it. They threw it away. They didn't take the time. They threw it away. Reggie Fields to St. Paul for a foul. He went in that time to John Houston, but Walter Davis picked it off beautifully. I'll tell you, these are two great basketball teams. Okay, I've are. never seen teams with more heart than these two clubs have. Watch this play. They just scored and they get the ball right back again. Here's yeah, Smith with it. That was only a foul, not going down four, but here's Theus. Makes the pass, charges into Houston. It wouldn't make any difference because Walter Davis made a good interception and would have been fouled himself. All right, we're 12 seconds to go. Houston is shooting one and one. This is what he did against Kentucky in the final minute. 82-79. He can just about seal it here. 16 out of 24 free throws. Schuster. Much free throw shooter. 83-79. North Carolina. 11. 10. The shot by Tony Smith. Again, he hits the 30-footer. 83-81. Another foul, Another foul on Las Vegas. That, that clock is wrong. It's not 36 seconds. There are seven seconds to go. And North Carolina's going to the free throw line. And that early foul trouble that the running Reds got into, six fouls early in the second half, has hurt them here. Third, I'm kind of surprised that North Carolina is letting Smith have the shot. North Carolina only has four team fouls. Seemed to me that they could take a chance and try to steal the ball a little bit, even if they foul. Vegas is going to have to take the ball out of bounds and not get a chance to get off a good shot right away. Well, Tony Smith has come down and hit three long shots in a row, all over 25 feet. He has 12 points. So Schuster again goes to the free throw line. Now, Schuster was handled the ball. The ball's a little slippy. We're going to see Herb Brown. Herb Brown might not go for it. We'll have to see right here. The ball was wet. Schuster gave it back to the official, and of course, Herb Brown using common sense here, saying let's clean off the ball before he shoots. You know it's a little tight. He's made his last three free throws. 83-81 North Carolina. Don Schuster. Shooting one and one. 84-81 North Carolina. Michael Florence says, buddy, one more. You notice know, he Go touched on. him with his left hand. He didn't want to get that right, right hand sweating. off to Sam Smith. They let him go. He shoots, but the game is over. Smith scored at the buzzer. The final score, we've had two spectacular games today. The final score, North Carolina 84, Nevada of Las Vegas 83. And you saw a second game here played at about a furious pace as a college basketball game could ever be played. I have to agree, Kurt. There you see Jerry Tarkanian, a great coach who's had a super year walking off the floor. With a guy by the name of Jackie Robinson, who was one of his star players who never got a chance to play this year either when you talk about key injury. Sadness. Tarkanian's first trip to the Final Four. But this team, we commented earlier, one of the most exciting college teams we've ever seen. But they lost to a very poised, Courageous North Carolina team is behind all the first half. Came back, trailing by 10, took the lead, hung on to it the rest of the way. Kurt, Kurt Gowdy and Billy Packer, hope you enjoyed it. We'll be right back with interviews and grandstand after these messages from your local station.
North Carolina meets Marquette on Monday night for the 1977 NCAA championship. Some unfinished business. The Gillette Track 2 Most Valuable Player Award goes to number 31, Michael Corrin, the freshman forward for North Carolina. He matched the number on his jersey. 31 points today is all-time high. Two courageous athletes, two Olympians, both injury uh, injury stars. Slowed them but didn't put them out. Bill Ford, how does the elbow feel? How do you feel? Well, I'm happy that we won, but uh, the elbow didn't bother me that much during the game. Um, I don't know about later on tonight. It might get a little sore. Good luck on Monday night to you. Thank Walter you. Davis, another Olympian. He wears a gold medal. Had one of his best games with a scoring today. You're number four all-time in North Carolina scoring history. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm still happy that we won, too. Uh, Las Vegas is a real great team. How about the pace of the game? You both showed the wear and tear of 40 frantic minutes. Yeah, it was. It was a real fast-paced game, though. you know, the whole 40 minutes. And, you know, it was just, you know, no stop unless we were taking a foul shot. So I'm pretty glad we get the rest now. Congratulations on the victory. Good luck to you against Marquette on Monday night. Dean Smith, for the fifth time in the NCAA Finals and for the second time you go to the championship game. Well, certainly I'm very pleased with our team. I thought they played well against a very good Las Vegas team. I thought we could have played better than we did in the first half, but we showed a lot of courage in the second half. We look forward to uh, Monday night. Any feeling about Marquette real quickly? Oh, I think they're a great team, great rebounding, and great coach, Al McGuire. Uh, I'd like to see him win it, except he's playing against North Carolina. I like my players much better. Should be a great final, North Carolina against Marquette. Thank you, gentlemen. Now back up to Curtin Billy. And uh, the man you just saw, Dean Smith, has a chance to hit the jackpot. An Olympic gold medal coach last summer in Montreal with a chance to win the national title. And... Al McGuire bowing out Monday night. His team hopes to present him the national championship in the last game he'll coach in college. So on behalf of Billy Packer, Kurt Gotti saying we'll see you Monday night at 8. It's Marquette versus North Carolina for...